people. There is book highly recommended to read but don't use. It's called Shorshe Hashemot by Rabbi Moshe Zahuta. He's talking about how to make your body disappear and appear in a different place. Wow. By using Hebrew letters. Well, I can guide it. Yeah, online. Rabbi Moshe Zahuta, Shorshe Hashemot. And again. And I never hear about it. Yeah, yeah, it's there. It's all available. All available in Judaism. We just have to read. Yes. One second. We have another question going on here. Please, please. I kind of want to go back to that soulmate conversation. Yes. Five year things? No. Just soulmates in general. Yes, please. And also related to intermarriage. Intermarriage. I feel like that's the big theme tonight, too. I, I didn't so, know that, but thank you for talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> I so, thought we talked about gay tonight, but okay, we changed yeah, it we to intermarriage. About gay tonight, too, okay. But that works, too. Everyone. So, like, you have, like, this idea of there's this ultimate soulmate, right? But, like, how does that relate to... To Goy? To, yeah, to Jewish, not Jewish, Christian, Christian, Muslim, Muslim, like, whatever it is. Like, I tell you. Like, what is, like, if, if it's the if easiest, soulmate, then... That's a great then, question. Then, great, then, question. Then, great question. So, I mean, does your soulmate have to be Jewish? Yeah, have to be great question. Again? Very good question. First, first... Ari, very deep. I mean, the idea <laughs> of being... <laughs> no. <laughs> what do you think... <laughs> I'm going to ask the women. I want only the women to answer that. Okay. Women, I'm asking, I'm asking you that. No. Only for the women. What do you think, but please be honest, don't try to make it look nice. What do you think is easier for the man to be with? With a Jewish woman or with a goy woman? Just think, don't answer. I don't know. I, I'm, I, I don't know the answer. A little bit of a bias job. <laughs> Just women. Just women. What do you think it's easy? Why is everybody laughing? What, what's so funny? What is that? Did they ask the wrong question? What, what, what do you say? One, it's easy to be biased for that. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. No, 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 Emily, Emilina, Emilina, say something here. One second. Emilina, no? Emilia, 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 she said, Emily, Emily is saying that a Jewish woman will make your life a But I said it, yeah, I said it, but meaningful. Meaningful, but it's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. Why are you doing this? I'm defending you. Guys, if we don't hear each other and everybody talk, it's not fair. Respect each other. Emily, why do you think that? One at a time, one at a time. Why do you think that? Because if you share, yes. Similar values, uh -huh. you're more invested. And when you're more invested, there are more emotions involved and there's more expectations involved and expectations and divine. Why, why do you No, say but in terms of in terms of difficulty and yeah. the challenge of being in a relationship with a Jewish woman, I think it's much more difficult. It's a challenge to be in a relationship, period. Of course. So of course. Bringing, bringing both sides from same root, same Shema, isn't it supposed to make it easier? No, Actually, I don't think no. so. I think it's more it's meaningful. It's much more tougher to be with a Jewish it's woman. It's hard to begin with. I think non-Jewish woman is completely different. Second, that's a good question. Please listen. That was your question. <laughs> First, let's let you defend the Jewish woman. You have example. another one here. Yeah, what's your name? Exactly. Stephanie. Stephanie. I, I wanted to know what you were Emily, on Stephanie. One second. Forget me. I'm just having a moment. Emily. I wanted to know what your response was to that first, though. Well, you want me to first say something to Emily? It's not fair. I want to hear you. Why? Because you say something to Emily. How can you generalize? How can you? I can't. Okay. What do you mean? I think that you want to argue that if somebody is. Guys, listen to each other. Please respect. I you just want to ask questions and to be known, or you want to listen to the answer? I'm enjoying. I'm so enjoying. just uh, shake it and take it. It's for Come on. You're good. You're going to be with somebody who's Shh, guys, let's say respect you are, each other, please. Let's say you are Jewish, okay. and then you go marry or date an Orthodox Jew, but you're a Reform. I think that it might be, but you might have an easier time going great. to somebody who's Christian reform than some an Orthodox Jew okay. if you are reformed. great. I like I like it. So I, I like think it. that it, yeah. it, the value comes from how did how are you raised how 
the spiritual of a person were you growing up because you can go find somebody who's Christian and has the same values as you, you do as a Jew but you're I'm, I'm with you on that I'm with you on that okay. but what we agree on the difficulty levels I mean would you agree somebody who was raised with more um, I mean, more orthodox. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean. If you if you raise if you need to act more orthodox, then you have to follow six hundred fifteen mitzvot. Exactly. It's a lot of work. Yes. I mean, it's a lot of work. It requires some work. And it if shouldn't you, be done for anybody else but yourself. So it shouldn't be done because you're dating. Yeah, if you think, of course, that's a different point. That's it. You cannot think but just that about was, you. But that's what would come with it. God. If you are dating. Depends. Somebody. Depends. Depends. It's a different conversation. Different conversation. Structure. I cannot hear you. Well, well the difficulty comes from the family structure. If the family won't accept. From you mean the foundation? Yeah, the, the foundation. foundation. Where you come from? I, I like it. I like it. But we want to answer this question because we didn't answer this question yet. Okay. The idea is, and Emily, what Emily was sharing with us, the idea is like that. Would you, let's say, want to practice Judaism? Okay, into your marriage, into your children, into everything. Uh, Based information, which not that I'm happy if you don't agree with me with that. Based on the information, a Jewish mother give birth to a Jewish children. Not for sure. Okay? Very, very simple. That's information. That's not an opinion. A Jewish mother give birth to a Jewish children. You have Abraham. Abraham was married to how many women Abraham has? Children with? Two. One of them was Sarah. One of them was Agar. Agar gave birth to Ishmael. Sarah gave birth to Isaac. Isaac was supposed to be the leader of spirituality, where Ishmael was continued to go back to where, before Abraham came from, to go after idol worshiping. He chose a different direction, different direction than his father. Meaning, he said, it's too much to work on myself to do so much spirituality, so I'm gonna go ahead and change, forget spirituality, and I'm just gonna do whatever is comfortable for me. Spirituality and love and relationship has nothing to do with comfort zone. You're not choosing. One second, one second. Wait, you're not you choosing. Comfort zone. Comfort zone. Spirituality, comfort zone. spirituality comfort zone. and relationship has nothing to do with comfort zone. Okay. It's not about you feeling comfortable. It's you are together working together. Now, if I tell you what, those of you who decide as Jewish people to marry, uh, whatever you want to. Label it. I don't want to say a name for it. Non -Jews, non -Jews. I don't want to say a name. You will have. You will have. No, no. You will have. Based on what you say. Based on what you say, it will be easier. Easier. It will be easier. The reason it will be easier because there is no requirement. It's almost. I'm going to the gym, and please test me on that, and I'm ready to even bet money on that. Please challenge me on that. And you will have my number, you will see me on Facebook, you will see me on Google all the time. All the time, tell me, Eliyahu, three years after I marry a guy, and look, you were wrong. You will have the easiest time ever. They will be controlled by you. I'm repeating to you, literally, and please test me. You will control them. If you're Jewish, they are not. You will control them. Your life will be so simple and easy. But slowly, slowly, it's like I'm going to the gym, and I want to lift five pounds or 25 pounds. 25 pounds, I suffer. I can't stand when I go there next to those people. One second, one second, one second. about 30? One second, one second. I can't stand when I go next to those people with the muscle, but they work hard for that. So I'm not here to tell you right or wrong. I'm here to tell you the proof is in New York, they say the proof is in the pudding. Challenge me. I disagree with you. I agree. So go ahead, prove it. Yeah, no, I mean, prove it. You prove it. You, you dating a going <laughs> no, no, no. Are you dating a going? No, I'm not dating anyone. Okay. Oh, when you date God. somebody, he was. He was. Okay. A guy will not challenge you because a guy will not challenge you. That's the purpose. Try. So challenge me. Tell me. Tell me. I want to hear your story. Tell me. Come on. Yeah, they can convert. They can convert. But there is a requirement. There is a requirement of work. Depends what you're looking to do with your life. Do you want to be rich? Do you want to be beautiful? No, I want to be happy. I want to be happy. You want to be happy. Yeah. What is? What make you happy? I mean, that's a great question. I'll find out. So tell me five things make you happy. If if that woman, if that woman, 
have the five things that you look to be happy, then you are, you are with the right woman. But if spirituality is part of those five that make you happy, then this woman has to be from the same tribe. Very simple. Why? Because the same tribe makes you live to 35 pounds. What if they're just as much on their... I mean, okay, this is going to... No, it gets into the issue but it's raising. okay. It's that's I why we. I think that it gets into the issue of raising your kids. Here. No, because true. if you're not gonna have kids, then I don't think that there's gonna be much confidence no, that you guys can go go have a baby. So what you're saying is that if you don't have children, it doesn't matter. Is that what you're saying? I, I think that when you have children, that's when it gets difficult. Even without children. I, I even without. I disagree with that. Even without. It's a 35 pound versus 5 pound. I'm here. I'm here. I tell you. I tell you one of my goal in this lecture, guys. Listen to me. I'm here to upset you. Actually, I want you to know one of my goal is to make you, and that's how I know I did well, to make you totally disagree with me and go think about it. Because in five years time from now, you're gonna remember this lecture for the rest of your life. You're gonna be like, I can't stand that guy who told me those kind of things. And you're gonna test it, and you're gonna go after New York, and you're gonna say, the proof is in the pudding. Wait, but you, you will tell me that. Why is, why is the Jewish woman 35 pounds? Why does, how does it stop? Because it's a pain, I don't wanna say where, it's a pain in the neck. To be married to a Jewish woman, I tell you, or Jewish man, I will tell you one second. There is something that when Abraham gave birth to Isaac and not to Ishmael, when Isaac gave birth to Yaakov and not to Esau, what does that even mean? It means that they gave them a responsibility to want more, not money, not beauty, more spirituality. Now, more spirituality, I want to answer this question for a second. More spirituality means that you have to make effort within your tribe. If you will talk to me, you can fool me, but you cannot fool your sister. She lives with you, she knows you, she's from your tribe, she's from your family. The same thing that there is a family, you cannot fool your Jewish tribe. A Jewish woman will eat you for lunch, realize what you're talking about, and in five minutes figure you out. It's not that the goy is bad. I have so many friends who is going, I have many people who are into marriage. And if you look at them, nice, these, Disneyland, happiness, private jet, oh, they have it all together. But if the goal is spirituality, if happiness equals spirituality to you, it cannot work. I repeat again, if, remember, you, I say happiness for you. So if happiness equals spirituality to you, it will be difficult for the world. But if happiness not includes spirituality, so, so what, if, what if it's a less spiritual Jewish woman versus a very spiritual woman of a different religion? Good question. Depends what we call spirituality in what frame exactly. of reference. Because, because what if the Jewish woman, we're under the assumption they're going to follow all the 600 exactly. mentioned rules, but what if they only follow maybe 30, 40, and they're not as religious? It's a great question. That's what I'm answering. It's a great question. Everybody should listen to it. That's a perfect question. What if they're not into the frame of reference of Judaism, but they're born Jewish? That's what you're saying. And they can appreciate Judaism exactly. for what it is, but they don't practice it and follow it. Yeah, yeah. Good point. Good point. So I tell you. One of my clients, a wonderful man that you all know from Forbes, is very famous, very rich, very powerful person, and he happened to marry somebody who's not Jewish. She, because of her love to Judaism, decided to convert Orthodox, because I guess he's a good salesman, or I don't know what he did, and they live happily ever after. He was, he's, he's a big investor, he will be actually in LA next week. And in that frame of reference, it worked. When I met him, when I met him first time, he was 16, okay? And as he grew up into his spirituality, both of them find spirituality through Judaism, which is perfect. But if both sides are not spiritual, it, it doesn't matter in that sense, because there is nothing going on there. So Judaism better, and you ask a great question, when spirituality becomes the goal, and spirituality is happy. So that's why I say you ask a great question. So uh, I'm sorry if I'm upset the parents, but I have to answer it like that. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Guys, I gotta go. There's people waiting for me. Don't, last question before I go. Last question, last challenge. I'm sorry for the parents if I'm upset you no. about uh, uh, the uh, 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 open with the, the kids. Yeah. Sarah, 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 Sarah,
was mar- is so focused on marrying a Jewish person, and she did that, and she got that life, she got kids. Disaster. All that stuff. He was abusive. Abusive. And then, no, he was abusive, but also, like, mentally, not just physically, mentally, emotionally, Verbally. all that stuff. But he was very, very stuck to his Jewish values, and he wasn't practicing what he preaches the way to all of people, I guess. Yeah. But then she got a divorce, now she's dating someone that isn't Jewish, but she's happy. Yeah, she she well. That's all what that I'm stuff. saying. So why does I'm not saying well? that the first husband was the right thing, because religion don't correct mental disease. But he is a spiritual One second. Man. Oh, Sarah, 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 you have the same thing with him. Are you, are you born next to each other? Yeah. Yeah. That's why you ask and then go. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go. <laughs> you ask. No, my sister, she let me finish. Hello. Oh, hey. No, she can come. She's asking. She's asking. She's asking something. So the first husband that she was married to is abusive. It's a mental disease. It's nothing to do with religion. I know that a lot of rabbis think if you become religious, you will be no longer mentally ill. No, you will. Religion don't solve the mental hill issue. When I work in a rehab, I have many religious people who come to see me. So the Mishbayo, there's disease. And she marries somebody cuckoo. Something is wrong. Verbally, physically, emotionally. So it's nothing to do with, it doesn't go under the category of Jewish or not Jewish. It's going under a different category that say mentally ill or mentally stable. That's a different thing. Now, she marry another man as the outside of this, and now we say, let's Define that a Goyan Jewish. We cannot do that because she married a nice guy that happened to be mentally stable. But her goal is now maybe not spiritual. I don't know what's her goal in life. I don't know her. She's more spiritual. Okay, that you, according to you, but we don't know it. I mean, I, I don't know it. But that's also how do you define spirituality? Exactly. Spirituality yeah. is basically, I tell you, spirituality, when you believe that God, first you have to believe there is a higher power that's called divine or God. And that God exists within the flower, within the water, within the candle. It's the same God. Echad uchmo echad. Akol echad. Everything is one. When you come to that existence, that exists according to Abraham, and you start meditate on that, and reach your soul, reach to that higher level, that's spirituality. Now, some people reach it through Christianity. Some people through Islam. Some people through Hindu. Some people through other type of religion. Not, I'm not here to judge or say that's worse or better. I'm just saying, Try to connect to people from your tribe because that's what the work is. Okay? So I'm, I'm leaving you with that. I'm sorry that I have to go. God bless you. I love you, but I gotta go. Thank you, Eliano.